It seems to me that our future as a free society, both here in Britain and throughout the world, depends on recognizing the crucial role played by people of faith. And of course, religious faith is all the more convincing to those outside the faith when it is expressed with humility and compassion, giving space to others, whatever their beliefs. With this in mind, I would like to suggest several tangible courses of action that I believe might be helpful. First and foremost, rather than remaining silent, faith leaders have, it seems to me, a responsibility to ensure that people within their own tradition respect people from other faith traditions. We have yet to see the full potential of faith communities working together. However, uh, to do this effectively with a truly fraternal approach requires not only maturity in one's own faith, but also an essential humility. Religious freedom is a daily stark choice between life and death. The scale of religious persecution around the world is not widely appreciated, nor is it limited to Christians in the troubled regions of the Middle East. A recent report suggests that attacks are increasing on Yazidis, Jews, Ahmadis, Baha'is, and many other minority faiths. And we might also remember that when the Prophet Muhammad migrated from Mecca to Medina, he did so because he too was seeking the freedom for himself and his followers to worship. Whichever religious path we follow, the destination is the same, to value and respect the other person accepting their right to live out their peaceful response to the love of God. That's what I saw when attending the consecration of the Syriac Orthodox Cathedral in London recently. Here were a people persecuted for their religion in their own country, but finding refuge in another land and freedom to practice their faith according to their conscience. I, uh a few months ago had uh, the pleasure of attending the Amadeo Mosque in Morden and a meeting uh, I have met on a number of occasions with members of the Amadeo community. Uh, the Honourable Lady is absolutely right. Uh, they are a very good example in terms of not just the values which they live by but also the practice, the way in which they put those values into practice in working within their local communities. Yeah. Double. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.